Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra October 10, 2022. There is more activity and power in your spirit sector these days. You're in generally good shape for exploring different options, settings, and ideas. Even so, you can wrestle with taking care of business or daily affairs from time to time, and today's sunshine and transit can bring insecurities into the mix, likely related to speaking your mind, communicating, or learning something new. Interactions with others tend to trigger old problem areas, but what emerges now may very well need your attention before moving along. Do your best to address issues related to guilt or insecurities today. With the soft moon, our sweet Luna, swimming through Pisces, you'll be feeling the vibes. This guarantees that you'll be feeling especially tangible, sensual, and in the mood for pleasure. You could be feeling the intuitive vibes to invest more in experiences of life. As the moon transits your solar second house of finances and possessions, it'd be a great moment to buy something and gift it to someone that you are fond of. It doesn't need to be anything super expensive it could be something heartfelt, creative, or emotional that becomes a keepsake for them. Feel confident in the value of your work. Since the moon in Pisces is squaring Mars in Gemini, you may want to focus on feeling secure in your creative endeavors. Your ideas, passion projects, and talents are incredibly valuable. However, you have to be more forthright with how wonderful your attributes are and how each one plays a fortunate part in your work and life. Be assertive with the financial and professional value of your capabilities. When you feel confident, you may find that it becomes easier to move forward with your professional journey. While the moon is making an ordinary monthly visit to your income sector it is also the last before lucky Jupiter is due to retrograde back in for a rare double dip visit later in the month. This is also the moon's last visit before new doors are due to open on the career front for the first time this year, with the potential for major new doors to open by the end of the month. This makes the moon's intuitive read on where the money is even more important. Your spiritual nature is enlivened by today's transit. We humans have a special relationship with water. It gives us spiritual rejuvenation and makes us feel alive. You may want to think about how much water you actually give yourself each day. Water plays a vital role in how your skin looks, and whether or not you have regular digestive activity. Eight full glasses a day will dramatically change how you look and feel. Positive vibrations will make you more combative and demanding than usual today. You will anticipate the feelings of others, notably in your family or married life. Your effective needs will have to be met. Not only will you feel good with others but in addition, with yourself as well. What more could you ask for? Pluto's last full day in retrograde motion in a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart is adding to a sense of nostalgia but also to a chance to reflect. When Pluto turns direct tomorrow, he will not only turn and face the future but will start preparing for his return to Aquarius in March, for the first time in our lifetime. Already, with Saturn in Aquarius, this is something you are preparing for but in retrograde motion as well, he too is first looking to the past. While the moon's departure from Aquarius yesterday has left you more emotionally and intuitively engaged, this also leaves in its wake a potent mix of nostalgia, romance, passion and adventure that will only deepen over the coming weeks. While Mars won't turn direct in your romantic sector until later in the month, with Saturn in retrograde motion in Aquarius old doors are already open. Our eyes in the sky. You might just have to take a step back from someone and regroup right now. Doing the necessary self-care work early in the morning will give you the complete view of what is going on. The Pluto retrograde ends today after spinning backward in Capricorn since April 29th. The interpersonal lessons you're experiencing are the same ones being felt by everyone around you. There are people who rub you the wrong way and others who just fundamentally get you. It's up to you to decide how to best comfort yourself through this process. How do you want to be nurtured? Breakthroughs are highly possible and reflect the unpredictable lessons of Pluto in Capricorn. 
A lot of this has to do with finances and feeling secure, including but not limited to feeling secure in your physical location. If you don't like the way someone is treating you, this is the time to handle the issue directly and with conviction. With activity in your house of relationships, you might feel like being more social. Even if you aren't seeking a favor, getting together with your professional contacts is a good idea so you can remind them of your skills. You may need to look to your house of appearances and first impressions and make sure you're putting your best foot forward in order to improve your financial future. Be very careful, because these skies also can indicate those who are stuck in abusive relationships. Remember to reach out to someone if you feel like you need help. You are not alone by any means, but these cosmic alignments ask for numerous independent decisions to be made at once. These two inclinations leave us feeling polarized and frustrated. It's as though we don't want to move for fear of making a mistake, even though we know that mistakes are exactly what we need to grow, and therefore, succeed. The worst thing we can do now is to bottle up our feelings to the point where we finally snap and act recklessly. Take one thing at a time. In the pre-dawn hours, the Pisces moon sextiles Pluto in Capricorn, engendering catharsis. We've arrived at the end of the road. It becomes necessary to distance ourselves from toxic relationships or behaviors for our own good. Our intuition guides us to recognize and release problematic desires or subconscious beliefs preventing us from self-actualizing. As many of us will be asleep at this hour, our dreams can communicate what we must do to break free from addictions. Before dawn, the moon opposes Mercury in Virgo, stimulating agitation. Our will becomes fragmented and our thoughts, polarized. This aspect may manifest disquieting dreams, or we can wake up on the wrong side of the bed. The moon then begins its void of course, lasting several hours. If possible, delay starting your morning activities and use this time for journaling or reflection. Getting our thoughts out on paper will help us to better understand the factors underlying our anxieties.